Hello mga maha! Welcome back to my learning channel. This is one of tutorials where you can level up your math skills with me, Miss B. So hello, hello! Nagbabalik na naman po ang inyong resident math teacher na tutulungan kayo para mas maintindihan niyo po ang lessons niyo sa math. So as usual, if you like this video, please click that like button and para naman matuwa na rin ako, i-click nyo na rin yung subscribe button at saka yung bell button para lagi kayong updated sa bago kong content. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so today's lesson, we are going to talk about arithmetic sequences. So, ano nga bang arithmetic sequences? And our milks for the week or our most essential learning competencies are generates patterns, illustrates an arithmetic sequence, and determines arithmetic means and the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So, medyo siksik at liglig ang video natin, pero don't worry, ma madadaan na natin yan lahat. Okay, so first we're going to try to identify the pattern in each sequence and then we're going to give the next few terms. So for example, we have the first one, we have 2, negative 4, 8, negative 16. So ano yung nangyayari dito? Ang nangyayari po dito ay we are multiplying by, multiply by negative 2. Okay? So, since we are multiplying by negative 2, yan po yung pattern natin, we are going to uh, find the next three terms by doing the same thing. So, we're going to multiply by negative 2. So, if we do that, you will find that the next two terms are 32, negative 64, and 128. Positive dapat. Okay? And then, that's it. So, alam natin kumuha ng pattern, and then we will look for the next few terms. So, how about number 2? From number 2, nakikita natin yung 1 naging 7, yung 7 naging 13, yung 13 naging 19. So, ano yung pattern dito? You guessed it right, you are adding 6. So, since we know the pattern, we are going to find the next 3 terms in the sequence by just adding 6. So, you will get the 25. 31 and the 37 okay and then of course for number three we have 6 7 9 12 16 so hmm wala naman tayong mino multiply impossible namang multiplication yan so what we do is we're going to try to subtract each term okay so from 7 to 6 that's 1 9 minus 7 is 2 12 minus 9 is 3. So as you can see, meron na nag emerge na pattern. We are adding, nag increase yung mga ina-add natin sa ating terms. So this is 4. Ibig sabihin, ang kasunod ay mag add tayo ng 5. So 16 plus 5, that will give us 21. So sunod dyan ay plus 6. So that means 27. And then plus 7 is 34. So, yan po ang ating uh, generating patterns and guessing or finding the next three terms of the sequence. Okay? Let's move on. So, let's define a sequence itself. A sequence is a set of numbers or things arranged in a definite rule or order. This is also known as progression. So, kung mag-research po kayo, ang arithmetic progression is the same as arithmetic sequence. Na ano yun naman yung tawag natin sa members ng isang sequence? Yan po yung tinatawag natin na terms. So, what are these terms? You have a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3. Ito po ay ang first term, si a sub 1. Si a sub 2 is your second term. Si a sub 3 is your third term. And so on and so forth. So, a sequence can also be represented by a general term or yung nth term. Ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina na rule or formula. So, lahat po ng sequences ay may formula yan. Yan yung sinusunod nila na rule or pattern. So, we're going to explore that. We have two examples here. Yung general term or a sub n is equal to n squared plus 1. Tapos, we have a n or a sub n is equal to 7n minus 4. So, this formula is the rule. Yan yung susundin natin para makuha natin yung members ng sequence na ito. So, let's try to do that. Gamitin natin si first. So, we have a sub n is equal to n squared plus 1. So, paano natin makukuha yan? 
Okay? So, syempre, kailangan mahanap natin si first term, si second term, si third term. So, paano natin gagawin yan? Remember, ang first term natin ay si a sub 1. Ibig sabihin, yung n ay papalitan natin ng 1. Tapos, yung n, papalitan natin ng 2 for the second term. And then, n is equal to 3 for the third term. Okay? So, a sub 1 is now equal to 1 squared plus 1. Si a sub 2 or si second term is 2 squared plus 1. And the third term is 3 squared plus 1. And then, doing those operations, we will now have, let me erase that. a sub 1 is 2. The first term is 2. Second term is 5. And the third term is 10. Okay, so ganun lang po ang gagawin natin mga anak. Okay, hahanapin lang natin ang first three terms by substituting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc, etc. So halimbawa, kailangan ko hanapin yung 10th term. So papalitan ko yung n ng 10. If I need to look for the 100th term, papalitan ko yung n ng 100. So ganun lang po siya. Alright, so ano naman ang arithmetic sequence? So marami po tayong klase ng sequence sa buong mundo. Pero... Today, we're going to focus on just one, and that is the arithmetic sequence. What makes arithmetic sequence special? Ang kanyang rule po ay nag add tayo ng isang constant called the common difference. Okay? So, specific yung kanyang uh, rule. What is the rule? We are adding a constant called a common difference. Okay? Ibig sabihin ng constant pang anak, hindi siya nagbabago. Pare-pareho lang yung ina-add natin per term. So, let's look into some examples. Tingnan natin kung kaya natin mag-identify ng arithmetic sequence. So, here. For number 1, we have 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4. So, constant ba yung dinadagdag natin sa ating mga terms? The answer is yes. So, therefore, this is an arithmetic sequence. Okay? Now, for number 2, 20, 20, uh, 24, 20, 16, 12. So, look into that. Pareha, parehas pa rin ba yung ina-add natin? Bakit siya pa paliit ng paliit? Ibig po nitong sabihin, yung constant natin or yung common difference natin ay negative number. In this case, it is negative 4. So, again, this is another yes. This is an arithmetic sequence. How about for number 3? We have 2, 4, 8, 16. Ano yung pattern nito? Di ba ang pattern niya mukhang times 2? E di ba kanina sabi sa arithmetic sequence, kailangan mag add tayo, hindi naman tayo magmumultiply. So, dahil dyan, this is ano. Next, for number 4. 1, 4, 9, 16. So, mukhang nag add tayo, di ba? So, ang gawin natin, mag-minus tayo. 1, or 4 minus 1 is 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. 16 minus... Ah, hindi pala 5. Yeah, 3. Tapos 5. Uh, 16 minus uh, 5 is 7. So, hindi constant yung ina-add natin. So, automatic, no na rin siya. Okay? Because again, an arithmetic sequence is you add a constant yung common difference. So, iisang number lang yung ina-add natin. Hindi siya dapat nagbabago. Okay? Alright. So, in general, ano yung rule? Diba kanina may mga formulas yung general term natin. So, for arith arithmetic sequence, syempre meron din yan. At yan yung a sub n is equal to a sub 1 or the first term plus n minus 1 times d. Yung d natin na to, ito yung ating common difference. Okay? You just highlight that. This is your common. Sorry, pangit yung sulat ko. Difference. Okay. And then, of course, your a sub n is your last term or your nth term. Sorry, hindi siya last term. Your nth term. And then, this is your first term. Tapos yung n kung pang ilan. Okay? So, let's try to apply. Halimbawa, hinahanap ko yung 21st term of this sequence. So, syempre, yung una natin nga hanapin is yung ating common difference or yung D. So, para malaman nyo po yan, mag-subtract lang kayo ng terms. Alam natin na this is an arithmetic sequence. 
So, you know that you are adding a constant number. So, pumili lang kayo ng any pair. So, 11 minus 7, that is 4. So, using the formula, teka, susulat lang muna natin yung general form. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, we're looking for the fourth term. Ang first term po natin ay 7 plus ang n natin ay 4. Oh, sorry, hindi pala 4. 21st term pala hinahanap natin. So, 21 dapat yan. A sub 21. So, this is 21 minus 1. Yung D natin yung 4. Ano ba, Miss B? <laughs> Sorry naman, lutang na. Okay, so that means the 21st term is we're going to simplify all of this. You are going to get 87. Okay? Alright. So, let's move on to the arithmetic mean. The arithmetic mean is the term between two arithmetic terms. Sometimes you can find more than one. So ito po yung kapag di ba narinig niyo yung word na mean, ibig sabihin niyan average or yung gitna. So minsan isang arithmetic mean lang yung hinahanap, minsan marami. So magkaiba yung proseso natin dyan. So kung isa lang ang hinahanap natin, or if you're only looking for one arithmetic mean, you just need to get the average of the two terms. So, for example, if you're looking for the arithmetic mean between 5 and 25, we're just going to look for the average. So, that's 5 plus 25 divided by 2. You're going to get 30 divided by 2. Your arithmetic mean is 15. Okay? So, that means 15 is in the middle of 5 and 25. Now, what if we need more than 1? So, we're going to use a special formula for the D or the common difference. Ang first step natin, hahanapin natin yung common difference. Okay? So, let's use that. Maglalagay do tayo ng 3 arithmetic means between 5 and 20. So, dito mga anak, ang una natin gagawin ay we're going to illustrate the arithmetic sequence. So, 5, magi insert tayo ng 3 arithmetic means. So, may tatlong number bago tayo makarating kay 20. Okay? So, we know that this is an arithmetic sequence. Therefore, si 5, siya yung ating first term. At kung first term natin si 5, pang ilang term si 20? Magbibilang tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, fifth term natin si 20. At dahil alam na natin yung mga impormasyon na yan, pwede na natin hanapin si D. So, that's a sub n, or si fifth term, 20, minus the first term. Ang n natin ay 5 minus 1. If we do this, you will get 3.75. Ibig po niyang sabihin, ang mga sagot natin, pag nahanap na natin yung ating d, i-add na lang natin yan sa ating mga terms ng paulit-ulit. Kasi nga, alam natin na ito ay isang arithmetic sequence. So, 5 plus 3.75, you will get 8.75. Plus 3.75, you will get 12.5. And then plus 3.75, you will get a 16.25. Sorry for the noise. So, ganyan lang pong maghanap ng arithmetic means. You need to illustrate first the arithmetic sequence. Use the formula to find D. And then add, keep adding D until you find the 3 arithmetic means or kung ilang mga arithmetic means yan. Okay, dogs. So, let's have another example para masaya. So, we're going to put three arithmetic means between 10 and 34. So, again, ang proseso po natin is illustrate first. 10, 1, 2, 3, 34. Tapos, so for D, alam natin ilan yan? 5. So, fifth term natin si 34. So, 34 minus 10. Fifth term siya, so 5 minus 1. That's 24 divided by 4. That will give you an answer of 6. So, that means we just need to keep adding 6. 10 plus 6 is 16. Plus 6 is 22. Plus 6 is 28. Now, if you want to check further kung tama yung sagot natin, you add 6. What will you get? 34. So, if you get Yung last term natin na yan, ibig sabihin, tama ka. 
Okay? So, yay! Yun lamang po ang ating lesson for today. I hope you learned a lot. And thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys next week. And if you have questions or if you have problems that you want me to solve, just put them at the comment section down below. Okay? Maraming salamat mga anak. I'll see you next time. Paalam!